Hi everybody, welcome back to another Food Review Online channel. My name is Nick Mangione. Thank you so much for joining me tonight, folks. Well, you have entered part more than two, part four of the Wendy's Day review, and I want to welcome you to Wendy's Day on my channel. That's awesome. Um, so, in part one, we review the the Parmesan chicken seafood salad. Part two, we, which was a nine out of ten. Part two. We reviewed the sauce and chicken sandwich, uh, which was a 9 to 10. Part 3, we reviewed the BLT avocado uh, chicken sandwich, which was a 5 out of 10. And now, we're on to our last sandwich of the day. And I don't know if this is a blessing in disguise or just just a total, a total error in judgment. Um, so, this was supposed to be the... The, uh, the barbecue chicken uh, sandwich, but uh, let me. I ended up getting uh, a burger. So, this is the barbecue uh, burger instead of chicken. And it's probably a blessing in disguise that I got the burger instead of chicken because I'm kind of sick of chicken right now. So, this is a sandwich, but next time I'm going to review the. Barbecue, where is it? Barbecue chicken sandwich. Because this is definitely beef. Uh, so let me go to beef and let me get the name right. Hold on one second. Do the menu. Okay, so this is the this is the barbecue cheeseburger. I think that's what is it, what's it called. Yeah, this has to be the barbecue cheeseburger. Oh, yep. All right, so the barbecue cheeseburger, and I'm very interested to see this. Um, as I, I can't pop the top of it. Well, I could. Oops, whoops, sorry about that. See that? Oh, that looks good. That looks good. So, I'm going to put you back here. Don't mind my face. There we go. That should be good. There we go. Okay. So, you saw what's in it. Let's take a look at the barbecue cheeseburger from Wendy's. Let's see if it's any good. Let's see if it's better than the, um, the BLT. Let's get that middle bite right there, and then I'll make my determination. It's been a while since I've had a burger from Wendy's.
The barbecue sauce is very, very sweet. Very, very sweet. I don't know if it's the barbecue sauce overpowering everything or... Let's take one last bite. Okay, let's take a drink and then Wow. Well, if that was barbecue, the barbecue was the all star star in shell, uh MVP uh, dominatrix, whatever you may call it. Wow. Uh, and that barbecue sauce overpowered everything. I only taste two flavors. Barbecue sauce and onion, onion rings. And then, to me, that's not a bad thing because certainly the barbecue sauce wasn't bland at all. It had flavor. It had a kick. Uh, the onion strings uh, dumbed it down a bit. It brought back the flavor to home. Um, but I um, kind of want more. What I mean by that is I kind of want more balance between beef and barbecue sauce. I know it's supposed to be a barbecue cheeseburger and barbecue sauce is fat around it or all over it. Uh, but you want that balance with a good burger. Um, to say... Actually, to say this would get above a 7, probably not. So, by process of elimination, I'm going to rate Wendy's barbecue cheeseburger a 6 out of 10. It could have been higher. It could have been higher. Again, all I tasted was straight barbecue sauce and onion straws. And if I wanted that, I would dip onion rings and barbecue sauce and you would get the same exact flavor. Um, was that the worst burger I've had in the world? No. I've had terrible burgers in my life before. I've had, uh, particularly, uh, last month I had a bad burger from Steak and Shake. Would I get that again? Probably not. I would probably go with the sauce and uh, chicken sandwich before I went with the burger, and that's uh, if that's a dead giveaway of my rankings, that's gonna be the sauce and uh, chicken sandwich is gonna be number one. Um, I believe, even though I waited lower than, than the other sandwich, I believe number two would be the barbecue cheeseburger, and my last one would be the avocado BLT chicken sandwich. In a, in uh in order that that's that's my order. Uh, give the, give it the barbecue cheeseburger a shot. I don't think you'd be disappointed, but let me know in the comments below. All right, folks, 
got four reviews down. We are on to the very, very last one uh, coming up next, and it's a Frosty. Yay, it's a Frosty. But what kind of Frosty it is? Well, you gotta stay tuned to find out. But for every, everybody here at the new Food Lab, this is Nick Mayer just signing off. I love each and every one of you. You guys are the best in the world. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.